So I inherited my son's trailer because he's moving out of his house. And I got rid of my half-ton trailer I've had for 30 years and got this one, which is heavier. And I'm too old and too weak to be able to lift the whole thing at one time. So there are other videos about this, but in case you haven't seen one, I made this device that is just this rod with a couple of hooks on it, like that. And this is how it works. My wife is trying to film this for the camera and her phone at the same time. So you just hook it into the spot there, hold it here for a second, begin your tilt, your lift. And go down slowly so it won't flop over on you. Once you have it down, Reverse is the same way. Look it on. And that's it. Cool. Voila. With my old trailer, I used to just fold it over like, like this, and there was a latch on the front, and you'd just latch it to keep the two halves together. Well, the new trailers don't come with a latch, and it's kind of a pain in the neck because then you have to tie it together or bungee strap it or something. So I just wanted something that was more permanent. And the old trailer, the problem with the thing on the old one was I kept hitting the catch on it whenever I'd unload things at the dump or whatever, and I would bend it, and i have to bend it back, and I never broke it, but... I don't know, I bent it back about a dozen times. Anyhow, so uh, I decided I would make this little latch, and all this is is a piece of uh, quarter-inch round rod that I welded to a, uh, I just brazed it to a, lock wash, a flat washer there. And the detail here is two nylon rings, then four O-rings. It's two small O-rings and then two bigger O-rings on the outside. And what that allows you to do is flex it and when you put the lock nut I'm gonna paint this in a minute so I'm not putting this on yet um, you put the lock nut on there it'll keep it from loosening up and then what it does is it allows you to pull it back and flip it in like that and it'll stay that way without having it be loose too loose or too tight and it'll work then the last thing I want to do is because I want to fold this thing up I need every square every inch rather of space that I have is that I'm going to put the hen the uh, tag on a hinge so that it folds down and then the trailer will fold up right against the, the wall and it won't have any spaces in between the wall and the back of the trailer which is really important because it goes in that spot there right to the right of the bus there's only a few inches of space between the wheel that'll be sticking out and the back corner of the bus and I want to since I walk through there all the time I want to have as much space there every half an inch counts so those are the two devices the one thing to help uh, stand it up on a paint these things and the other to latch it uh, and then I'm gonna do the hinge and that makes the trailer all the much better Harbor Freight not a bad deal oh and these are my sides by the way I have steak body sides that I made and you know they slide in and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all put against the wall and put away.